As you all know, the crime rate in our city continues to rise each year. Today, I would like to announce a new crime prevention initiative that will stop this epidemic which plagues our city. Security cameras will be installed in over 2,000 locations throughout the city. And sections of the city will be partitioned using large gates. We believe these measures will help us to prevent crime as well as assist in gathering evidence in case a crime is committed. I would like to assure you all that this new policy has been implemented solely for the purpose of maintaining public safety and is in no way designed to invade your right to privacy. I am here to ask for your support in taking back our beloved city from crime and fear. <laughs> yeah, damn straight. Yo, you seen KG lately? Maybe he got busted. Man, you ain't heard. Word on the street says Shen Ying's crew took him. Yeah, but KG runs with the Zaps, right? What the hell he's got to do with Shen Ying anyway? She thinks Dwayne capped her old man, so she after his crew now. Ah, uh, yeah, payback, huh? Dwayne says he got nothing to do with it, so he's gathering his crew to take KG back. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I smell some cool gangs action coming our way. Boo, ain't nothing cool about this. It's gonna be a bloody war, dog. Hey, yo, what's your problem, huh? Yeah, we talking some important business here. Take your ass somewhere else, homeboy. Uh-huh, yeah. Yo, I'm talking to you, fool. <laughs> oh, you think you funny, huh? You laugh on this now. <laughs> You've got quite a reputation. So, you ready to roll? I warmed up on the way. <laughs> nice. I don't want any trouble later, so I'll tell you this now. This isn't a normal brawler job. It's a bit more complicated. Hey, where's KG? We know he in there! Yeah, come on out here! <sighs> I think I nabbed one of their boys. Of course, they're probably just saying that to get a piece of us. If you want to prove your innocence, I suggest you go find a lawyer. Sure, if I'm only dealing with cops. See, that's where you come in. I want you to take out every gang member in this area, including the Zaps leader, Dwayne. Easy for you to say.
Shorty can't even fight her own battle? Where the hell is KG? Damn! All right, you wanna walk? Yo, take them all out. Shun Yi, the brawler, everyone. Show them what they get for messing with this crew. Yeah! Yeah, get some backup from the downtown crew. I'll pay them if I have to. Dwayne's a cautious guy, so he won't make the first move. We'll have to draw him out. So go over to their turf and provoke him by smacking around one of his boys. This is our official declaration of war, so do it up. that Dwayne has convinced the Hell's Legion bike gang to come after us. Their boss, Glenn, thinks Dwayne will give him props if he takes us down. Rather than sit around here, we're going on the offensive. We already know where their hideout is. So, go pay him a visit. And as a friendly gesture, put one of them in the hospital. activity in town. They're just a bunch of random punks and way too disorganized to try anything ballsy like taking us on. But I say we take him out just to be sure. What's the deal with that guy over there? He a friend of yours or something? I get the feeling he's sizing you up to go one-on-one. -on -one. Give him what he's got coming to him. That'll serve as a lesson for his friends. controls the east side of 16th Street. The guys who hang out there are just a bunch of gangbangers posing as a group of vigilantes. They've been copying an attitude ever since our war with the Zaps began. They're not gonna stand by and let outsiders like us do as we please. Katanashi's disciples must have heard the ruckus. You've got to finish this before they come out.
just as we've expected. The Zaps are mounting a counterattack for payback over all the damage you've caused. Unfortunately, still no Dwayne. Give him hell so that he'll have no choice but to rear his ugly face. this neck of the woods lately. They're not exactly the touristy type. In fact, if they're not stirring up trouble on their own, they've been known to get mixed up with Dwayne's men on occasion. I want you to head over there and scope out the scene. If they think you're fresh meat and try to jack you, feel free to introduce yourself. Dojo live and die by the motto, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. So, it's unsurprising that they're still sore over losing one of their guys from the attack we staged. Personally, I think they had it coming to them anyways. Just karma from all the bad blood they've started. But it doesn't look like they're gonna want to settle this one out of court if you get my drift. They got three of their best black belt disciples to settle the score. Normally I'd be a little nervous, but I think you can handle them.
leader of the Hell's Legions. He's the kind of guy who's content to just kick back and let his underlings do the dirty work. <laughs> it seems you have been underestimated. Mop up the small fry first and show no mercy. But when it comes to Glenn, maybe you should hang back and bide your time. No use provoking him now. That might even be too much for you to handle. Let's tear it up! Jake is a brawler who gets paid to bust people up. I hear he's officially on Glenn's payroll now. There was a time when it was a toss-up between Jake and you. But in the end, your rugged good looks got you the job. Not that I doubt you, of course, but all the same, get out there and prove to me that I made the right choice. jumped by the Zaps, and four of them spent the night at the hospital. We're gonna get revenge for this. I've already figured out who the culprits are. One of them's not even a member of the Zaps, but I'm pissed off. So if he gets in the way, well, that's his problem. They're gonna pay for what they did to our guys.
Sources tell me that Glenn has hired Miguel Estevez and his men for an attack on Chinatown. We'll burst their bubble and launch a surprise attack while they're still preparing for their little raid. Go trash his joint in the old school way. Jake is too much of a handful, even for Glenn. I don't know if it's because Glenn lacks the money, or the cojones. Well, maybe both. Either way, it works out for us. Even I would find it hard going if someone attacks us with a brawler like Jake tagging along for the ride. Jake seems a little reluctant to fight here, so let's just take care of Glenn and walk away. there is Kadonashi, the Grand Master of Kadonashi Dojo. He wouldn't normally get involved in his disciples' petty disputes, but when a few of them get messed up by a stranger, he takes it seriously. Watch yourself. He's not called Grand Master for nothing. Yes, sir.
bouncer from the West Side Gym has a bone to pick with you. Apparently, he was among the thugs you roughed up along with Dwayne's men. Now he's brought some friends along to even the score. The boxers who hang out at the West Side Gym are nothing but a bunch of gangbangers when they're not in the ring. When you tangle with them, keep in mind that they're not going to use throws. Just concentrate on dodging their punches and timing your attacks. in the city to take us head on in a united front. I want you to crash their party and rain on their parade. Take them out. All of them. That'll teach them not to mess with Chinatown. Hell's Legion's guys in the bar. Go in there and buy him a drink. There's only one problem. The owner of the bar has a bad habit of calling the fuzz whenever there's trouble. So, let's put the hurt on these bad boys and bounce before the cops arrive. Otherwise, don't count on me to get you out of the big house. Ah! 
Sakura, fine, upstanding young men from the West Side Gym would like to have a word with you. They're acting like a bunch of righteous vigilantes, but in reality, they're no better than your average street punk. They know the game, and they know its rules. If they set foot on this turf, then there'll be a price to pay. Let's give them a warm Chinatown welcome. who doesn't like to get involved in petty gang feuds. But he's financially strapped, so he's got no choice but to take Glenn's money. I've heard he was a Muay Thai champion back in the day, which makes him a dangerous adversary. Since he's a straightforward fighter, I suggest you mix it up by using your environment. Tables, chairs, anything you can find to your advantage. But he's an alumnus of the West Side Gym, and apparently, he even got pretty high in the World Cruiserweight class rankings. I've heard that his old boxing buddies from the gym have asked him to take you on. I suspect Glenn had something to do with this, too. This grim guy's a real monster, but I know you can take him. Just watch your back.
loosen something in his head because Grimm is back for more punishment. So be it. Let this bar be his final resting place. Throw him into tables and chairs to let him get his pain on. Up to now, Grimm's dominated within the safety of the ring. Show him you're a cut above when it comes to street fighting. come to avenge their master's honor. Aw, oh, it's so nice to see such close, unwavering devotion between teachers and their pupils. Break their legs so they'll have to come crawling back. Let's give the Katanashi gang the shock of their lives. We'll see if they're so eager to show their faces around here anymore. that the once proud Katanashi has stooped to requesting support from someone outside his circle. I guess you've really gotten under his skin. Tong Yun and Katanashi are both deadly opponents. Taking both of them on at the same time won't be a walk in the park. So, be sure you keep them apart while you fight. I guess we've underestimated the Zats this time. 
Or is it they who have underestimated us? Kick it up a notch and force them to tell you where Dwayne is hiding. While he was initially doing it for the money, he's now playing a deadly game with you. I have no interest in your machismo sword fights, but do what you have to do if he's going to be in our way. Go on and have fun. for us to clean out the Hell's Legions. Get rid of the weaker ones first. Once you've done that, go after Glenn.
groveling at your feet, it's all over for the Hell's Legions. But watch out. He's been known to come heavy, so be careful of weapons. It doesn't matter what he does, though. He doesn't stand a chance against you. Go show him what you're made of. about you taking out the Hell's Legions. He's finally gathered all his heavy hitters to counter your next move. It's time to take this fight all the way to the hood. Go eliminate his men and drag him out. going to listen to what we have to say after he's been beaten into submission. You're in the clear now and nobody can stop you. Finish him off. Once you've won, we'll have proven our innocence and can finally look towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, this is it. So don't screw it up. Hmm. Wait just a minute. We'll be proven innocent, sure. But then who kidnapped KG to spark these gang wars in the first place?
Here's some free advice. Get out of this town before you all end up like him. Let's rock and roll. The gang that kidnapped KG is tearing through the city, setting fire to everything in their path. KG told me they call themselves the Outlaws. They're a bunch of ex-cons who are apparently eager to head right back to the Slammer. Their ringleader is a guy everybody calls Napalm99. This guy has been in and out of the joint several times. Hang on, I'm coming with you. These aren't your average fist fodder. You're going to need friends from here on out. Come <laughs> on. 
appears the outlaws aren't the only ones we have to worry about. These guys call themselves the Shadow Platoon. They're ex-grunts led by some guy named McKinsey. They may have all been in the service, but there's not an ounce of honor between the lot of them. They're nothing but a pack of psychotic meatheads who got kicked out of the army for being too unstable. But they're still a world apart from the typical goons you'd find roaming the streets. If their track record is anything to go by, each one is a major threat in his own right, so you'd better take some backup just in case. My men know that you're calling the shots, so regardless of whether two of you are ganging up on the same guy, or whether you split up and go after them individually, issue your commands clearly and wisely. to the city center. There's even looting going on around Central Square. The mayhem is the handiwork of some scumbags being led by the outlaws. They brought some outsiders into their fold and are inciting the riots. We can't just let this unruly mob run about recklessly. Go out and crush them. the riot to loot and torch everything in sight. They've even got those punks in on the action to lay waste to the city. But why? They've even started raising hell on my turf. You better go and put a stop to that right now. You don't need to take out all of them. Just concentrate on dropping their leader and the rest of them will turn tail and run. Now go. I'm counting on you.
Charles have recruited Chris, a brawler who's worked as a bouncer at a bar and is an enforcer for a loan shark downtown. Word is, he's got you in his sights. Brawlers have gotten by on their neutral status because they haven't been affiliated with any gang turfs. But hey, that's no reason why we shouldn't take them out if they start giving us trouble. Go say hello to our little friend, and take a partner with you. Chris has plenty of street fighting experience, so stay on your toes. <laughs> Shadow Platoon to go after Glenn, who's chilling back at their hideout. Some of the boxers from the West Side Gym were known to have had a hand in the rioting, so it seems like the Shadow Platoon were able to bring them on board. Glenn might not have been a saint, but we don't want him ending up in a hospital now. You've got to get over there right now and help him out. losing to you in that fight, but he's just turned up. I'm ready to make him a deal, but it looks like he's gotten in deep with the street gangs on the outskirts of the city. I've already prepared the cash. Make short work of those scumbags and get Jake back here in one piece. Thank <laughs> you. 
district is a buffer zone between the inner city and the residential area of respectable citizens. However, due to the recent downturn in the economy, it has practically become a ghetto. The outlaws have been seen going in and out of a building in that area. I'm guessing that's their hideout. Destroy it before they start running amok. Their hideout is located underground, so mop them up nice and fast before they can call in reinforcements. Because if they do, you've got no place to run. district. He knows Taekwondo and specializes in conflict resolution. He has no affiliation with the Outlaws or the Shadow Platoon. But in an unfortunate turn of events, one of Dwayne's boys mistook him for a rioter and decked him. Park, understandably upset, has been attacking every Zap's crew he sees. He can't be left hanging around the industrial district like this, so take someone with you and sort him out. who kidnapped KG and is headed downtown. I know the KG incident makes his blood boil, but it's unlike him to fall for such an obvious trap. He's completely losing it. And if it's an ambush, he won't stand a chance. The Zap said he left a while ago. Go and help Dwayne before it's too late. Hurry!
Grim's gone to persuade the boxers to sever their ties with the Shadow Platoon. It seems obvious to anyone but him that it's not going to go as smoothly as he thinks. They'll see him as a traitor, and he'll have no chance of getting out without a fight. Even a tough nut like Grim will run into problems if he's outnumbered four to one. He's supposed to be meeting them in the abandoned subway station, so go give him the support he needs. Seems they mistakenly thought he was one of us. Actually, you two should be working together. Go help him, and leave the rest to me. should have known better than to let you go alone. Downtown is pretty popular with the looters. The Shadow Platoon is keeping a close watch on the area, so there's no surprise a welcoming party was waiting for you. Taking on all of them by yourself is going to be pretty tough, but do your best to come back alive.
outsiders have been cornered by Kadanashi's disciples into a warehouse. The disciples want to give them a good beating, but they don't have sufficient numbers. Go and lend them a helping hand. Napalm 99 seems keen to see that you get torn to pieces, and he's probably using this as a test to see if Chris has what it takes. You know that means Chris will be giving it everything he's got. Don't let him get the upper hand. You've got to stay calm and strike when it's hot. And don't swing at the outlaws on the sidelines. Take him down! Kill him, fool! Kill him! They're going to punish Chris for losing the fight. That's the kind of short-sighted thinking you'd expect from those idiots. You should get back there and give him a hand to get on his good side. Just because the outlaws used him up and spit him out doesn't mean he's unredeemable. He'll be an asset for us down the line. Besides, given the option between jumping ship and certain death, what choice does he have? for the urban areas. 
the mayor has announced a pledge to restore civil order. But we all know that surveillance cameras and steel gates aren't the solution here. We must take matters into our own hands. The street gangs are kicking up a lot of dust in Central Square. And if left uncontrolled, they may start looting again. I want you to go and rough up the shadow platoon member who's leading the rioters. Break his leg as an example to the street gangs. That should put an end to their shenanigans. <laughs> jumped Katanashi's crew that were protecting the citizens from the rioters. Some of them have been hit so hard they're completely incapacitated. It's probably the work of the Shadow Platoon. That area may descend into chaos once again. Word has it that Master Katanashi himself is out to get revenge for his disciples, promising that the culprits will get what's coming to them. Katanashi is not our enemy anymore. Go help him out. has gotten separated from the rest of his gang and is apparently taking refuge in a motel. Go and convince him to take a long vacation, if you know what I mean.
a bad scene. Nobody wants to scrap with him because he doesn't pull any punches and he's got the skills to back it up. He's been pretty mellow recently, but I think the rioters who have spread to that area have reignited his bloodthirst. It seems he came well armed. To even the odds, you'll probably have to use weapons when you take him on. Keep an eye out for dropped weapons, or grab his and give him a taste of his own medicine. play dirty. They know they don't stand a chance against you in unarmed combat, so they've started packing weapons. You've definitely got your own unique fighting style, but how are you with weapons? You can hit someone with a weapon, sure, but keep in mind you can also throw it at distant enemies. Once you get into the groove, you'll be able to catch or kick away weapons thrown at you. It shouldn't be too hard for someone of your expertise. Good boy. Hey. 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 
hand, you'll be tempted to do all the work yourself. But don't forget that you've also got your partner to back you up. Weapons can be passed back and forth between you and your partner. Once you've wiped out these weapon-wielding street gangs, we can really get to work on cleaning up the city. We'll start with our area first, then head out to the city center. The battle's not over until we've driven every one of them out of this city. stragglers around the busy shopping district. But Alex and Park have barricaded themselves in a bar, and several members of Glenn's team have been wounded pretty badly. These two renegades are working tag team style to take him out. You're the only one who can bring an end to the standoff. I'm counting on you. is cornered in a scrapyard. If we can take them out, Dwayne's crew should be able to take the city outskirts. Right now, the boxers are like a bunch of rats in a sack with nowhere to go. But sometimes, an animal is at its most dangerous and unpredictable when it's cornered. Stay alert. Oh! <laughs> 
buildings around this area have been mopped up by Katanashi's disciples. The few that remain have hit a dead end in a back alley. I want you to go and finish the job. That big guy over there seems to be freaked out and desperate because he's lost his homies. Make sure he doesn't get away. force of the gang that's inciting the rioters is currently in South End. They're former military guys, so they've all had extensive weapons training. Taking them on won't be a cakewalk, but if you can flush them out, we're going to see some real changes on the streets. Take your best partner with you. to have taken refuge in a motel. Those morons are a complete waste of air. Get in there and don't let them escape. Drag them out and make them see the light. One way or another.
Elvira has dealt a serious blow to Park's pride. I'm sure he realizes that his quarrel with us was just a misunderstanding, but he had gone too far to back out. Park wants to settle this old score man to man, so go now and honor that challenge. He'll probably come around to our cause if you slap him upside the head hard enough. Soften him up for me to go talk to him afterwards. Like they say, the more the merrier. Miguel Estevez is the only decent one of the bunch. He's intelligent and industrious. He's getting involved in shadowy dealings to earn cash for him to establish a territory to call their own, so that his friends do not need to lose their lives on petty disputes. But he was a very bad boy yesterday. He pissed on a parked car and guess who was riding inside? Yours truly. Let's just say I saw something completely unimpressive. And every sense of the word... He got away at the time, but we got info on his whereabouts from our crew. Get over there and take him down. forces with us. I ordered him to wipe out a rampaging mob downtown. Unsurprisingly, he copped a bad attitude. I can't blame him, really. After all, I'm teaming him up with you, someone who recently kicked him to the curb. But when push comes to shove, Park will be a big help. 
If for some reason he gets the feeling that you're not looking out for him, he'll go back to being a lone wolf. So don't do anything that'll change his mind. Once his job is done and we've earned his trust, then we can really team up with him to clean up the urban areas. When that happens, you can be sure that their boss won't stay silent for long. Now go and smoke him out. Some of the boxers still haven't graduated from the school of hard knocks. They've joined up with the Shadow Platoon for even more punishment. Grim's already gone ahead on his own. I want you to go and give him a hand. Give those boxers a good beating. Miguel's homies are panicking now that he's no longer around to lead them. They've tried to hide out in downtown with the help of some old contacts, but I made sure nobody in that area will give them any help. You shouldn't have any trouble spotting them. They're the amigos who look like headless chickens running around the streets. Help put them out of their miseries. Oh, 
take you on. He's been wanting to challenge someone on par with his fighting abilities, so he's psyched to have found you. At first, I thought we should ignore him, but he's been threatening to wage war on our guys if you don't accept. He says that if you can beat him, he'll join our ranks and help us out. It doesn't sound like such a bad deal. <laughs> I've noticed that you've always been popular with the ladies. But now, it seems men are taking a liking to you as well. an ambush for us in Central Square. They'll be packing heat for sure, so we're gonna have to play for keeps. Choose your partner carefully for this rumble. who've been tagging along with the Shadow Platoon as well as the Outlaws are starting to feel the squeeze out there. They're afraid they won't have a place to call home after our cleanup. But that'll be the last of their worries. Now they'll get bumped out of town all right, but only after they've been kicked in the dirt. 
snap their arms like twigs to ensure they'll never use their weapons again. up in the urban areas, a few shadow platoon guys have entered Katanashi's turf. They were probably waiting for the right moment to launch their attack when Katanashi's disciples found them and drove them into a warehouse. Go and crush their ambitions for the near future. Finally clean the city of its filth. But our work's not done yet. The gang behind the rioting has fled out to the residential district. Their boss is hiding somewhere out there. Go shake down some of his men to find out where they were heading. That'll be where their boss is. Take Alex with you for this one. He's a little tough to manage, but you can't argue with the skills.
Napalm 99 over at Green Hill. He's been ducking out there ever since we got him on the run. We're going to jump him when he goes out for a bite to eat. Be sure not to cause too much commotion, or else he'll split before you have a chance to catch him off guard. For that reason, I'm sending you in alone. Napalm 99 calls the shots for all those guys, so he's not your average thug. I have no idea what he's got up his sleeve, but I know you can take him down. I'm counting on you. building located in the urban district. Stroll right up to his front door and shut him down. His gang has already lost their territory, so crippling their headquarters will further disrupt their chain of command. They won't have any reinforcements, so let loose in there and cause as much damage as possible. I'll cut you in pieces! Rioting has subsided. But just as we thought things were finally quieting down, our friends McKinsey and Napalm 99 have shown up to party some more. Some of the Zaps and Hell's Legions got capped in the process. Apparently, those two were too much for them to handle. Expect them to be playing for keeps, especially because they've lost not only their pride, but also their turf. All they want is to hurt us, and they want to hurt us bad. Hell, I say bring it on. Let's get this over with.
They'll be here any minute. And it's probably not what's left of the outlaws or the shadow platoon. If it's a bunch of new kids in town, they gotta be pretty ballsy to walk right up to my front door. I'm sure they've got the outside surrounded too. Here they come. Let's fight our way out of here. to help me investigate the recent attack. Apparently, we're dealing with an organized crime syndicate known as the Mushin Kai. These guys are professionals. Fearless and cold-blooded contract killers. They've also uncovered that they've got connections that go up to some pretty high places at various corporations. So we know that they are well-financed as well. Looks like we've really kicked the hornet's nest this time. But there's no way I'm going to give in. I want to send them a clear message. We'll show those killers hanging out in Green Hill a world of hurt. they're carrying swords, my guess is that they're not here as tourists. But they're not the Mushin Kai's people either. I recognize them as the Tin Zhao, a group that splintered off from Chinatown some time ago. But it doesn't matter, they're small time. Still, why have they returned? They were led away from Chinatown by... Anyway, now's not the time to worry about that. Get out there and show them how to really use those swords.
via killer from the Mushin Kai have reared their ugly faces. It looks like they've received my message. Once they figure out that we won't surrender, they'll send their men to force our hand. Well, there's no way we're backing down. I have a feeling this is going to be a bloody war of attrition. We'll figure out our next move after we whack those fools. Shin Kai are taking in all the leftover outlaws who were orphaned after we took care of their boss. We've got to break up their recruitment ring now before they can mobilize. If you take out the Mushin Kai fighter, the crowd will probably disperse.
Ben's crew were ambushed downtown. I heard the guys behind the attacker headed towards the Civic Center. They're just puppets of the Mushin Kai, and they won't get away with this. Among the group of attackers was McKinsey. I guess each of the small-time captains are brown-nosing the Mushin Kai bigwigs. Go and take care of those dogs. Make sure you're watching your partner's back. If people see you carrying your wounded partner around the Civic Center, there's gonna be trouble from the cops. building is one of their bases of operations. Men brandishing Chinese swords are going in and out of there. Well, just as I thought. The Mushin Kai and the Tin Zhao are working together. Right now, the Mushin Kai guys are nowhere to be seen. All that's guarding the building right now are a handful of goons and a couple of heavies. If your partner gets knocked out, you're gonna have a hell of a time getting out of there in one piece when their reinforcements arrive. In other words, make sure your partner doesn't go down. Kai brought along a real beast. His name is Gollum, and he used to be a professional wrestler. His career took a dive when he went overboard and killed his opponent during a match. Ever since then, he's been active as a prize fighter in underground fighting circles. Two of Glenn's boys were beat down pretty badly by Gollum in the industrial district. We've got no choice but to deck this guy right here and now. He's dangerous. So take a backup and be careful.
my brother, Lin Fong. So he was back in town. But why now? After all this time? When our father died, I was given control over Chinatown. That didn't sit well with my brother, so he skipped bail. So it seems Lin Fong is the one in charge of the Tin Zhao now. Don't take him on just yet. I'm sure he's got something up his sleeve. We should wait and see what he's up to. One more thing. He's an expert when it comes to swords. Our father was, after all, Chinatown's master swordsman. Napalm 99 is also reporting to the Mushin Kai now. They put those scumbags in charge of car security. It's a perfect job for a bunch of lowly hoods. This one's an easy job. Go and give those watchdogs a hard time before their masters return. Gaining control of the city's underworld. McKinsey walking together with a Mushinkai killer confirms that. Well, they can take this city over my dead body. They couldn't pull this off in such a short time unless there's a powerful figure behind their organization. They've got to find out who that is. And then there's dealing with my brother. Leave that one up to me. I'm going to do a little digging of my own.
Lin Fong's men have hit Kadonashi Dojo's turf. Kadonashi's disciples are in way over their heads with Lin Fong's men, so I'm sending you in to bail them out. The Tin Zhao don't appear to be armed, but they are masters of unarmed combat, so watch yourself. meeting in their urban district hideout right now. Lucky for us, they've assigned guard duty to a bunch of unarmed nobodies. Now's our chance to strike. Let's see how well they do without their swords. Napalm 99 when he was patrolling the urban district. Being pumped at the chance to settle an old score, he's probably already kicking ass and taking names. Even so, he might have bitten off more than he can chew. Go and lend him a hand.
inside this building. Hate to ask you this, but I'd like you to tail him and check the place out. Remember, the whole place is enemy territory. If you get spotted, abort the mission and fall back. Their headquarters is somewhere in this area. They're not going to let us escape that easily. Gollum's waiting to jump you as you leave the parking lot. And unfortunately, you won't be getting any backup on this one. You're going in solo. We'll figure out our next move once you take care of business. to be up to something. I need to know where their hideout is located and who's pulling the strings behind the scenes. Capture one of the Tin Zhao guys. We'll make him talk. Don't jack him too much or else he won't be any use to us. But break a leg or two so that he won't be running off anywhere soon.
We got him to spill pretty much everything we needed to hear. I'll fill you in on the details later, but we don't have time for chit-chat right now. Several members of the Tin Zhao are on their way over here. I'm not sure whether they're planning on rescuing their comrade, or killing him before he's had a chance to flip. In any case, they've got to cancel their reunion. I've got some minor business to attend to just now, so I'll leave the situation in your hands. to hear from me. We'll get over it. Do you have any idea where my sister Shen Ying is? Well, I do. I bet you have a lot of questions for me right now. I've sent some of my boys over there. If there's anything you'd like to know, feel free to ask them. But I must tell you, they're not the most talkative types. Thank <laughs> you. 
to get the job done. Cut me a little slack. <laughs> but you've still got questions, right? Well, I've got your answers. But you'll need to get yourself over to Green Hill. Alone, of course.
Listen up. I've only got a few seconds. I saw a window of opportunity and managed to escape. I'm in a building in the urban district. They haven't found me yet, but... Damn, they're... Fong? Hmm. Hey. What are you doing here? Get the hell out! Hey, sis. Don't you ever wonder how our father died? What? Oh, come on. He was old and weak. Survival of the fittest. Simple, really. <sighs> Believe me, this hurts me too. But I have my orders. Say hello to our father for me. fled the city. He lived by the motto, Might Makes Right, which is why after being defeated, he probably won't show his face around these parts for a while. From what I overheard when I was held hostage, the leader of the Mushin Kai, the same guy who's trying to gain control of the city, goes by the name of Shin Kai. I found out he's been sending out henchmen from a certain building near the Civic Center. Head over there, bust through the front door, and take Shin Kai down. Show no mercy to anyone who gets in your way. We're almost to the end now. Just give me a little more of your strength.
commotion and sent out reinforcements. The entrance is blocked, but we may be able to get in from where they came out. We'll simply blow past anyone who gets in our way. Loads of guys waiting for us. They're not even worth our time. Let's take care of them and find the elevator. there isn't a better way for us to exchange pleasantries. But then again, this is a matter of life and death for both parties. If we breach their perimeter, they'll probably have to take responsibility and face the consequences. I don't even want to know what those are.
Once we dispatch with those two bodyguards, we've only got to deal with the head of the Mu Shin Kai, Mr. Shin Kai. According to my brother, Shin Kai is a master swordsman and one tough warrior. In many ways, you'll be in your element for this fight. You're the only one who can end this bloody war. But first, let's take care of the bodyguards. Turns out the mayor runs a security firm in the city. He's also running for state governor next month. And his governorship is reported to be a certainty, with the boost in his popularity after he has restored civil order to the city in such a short time. Yet, the city is really no better off than before you got here. You get it? It's not so much that order has been restored. The city fell apart and it's just now been stabilized back to its original state. But this all appears statistically as his accomplishment. The kidnappings, riots, and killers. What do you know? They come just before the governorship election, where he'll be seen as the hero who cleaned up our city. I first thought that it was just a lucky coincidence, but that's not the case. I've checked out these documents you found. It's a contract hiring Shin Kai of the Mu Shin Kai to be acting consultant for the mayor's security firm. That's right. The events that plunged the city into chaos were orchestrated by the mayor and Shin Kai. The kidnappings were a ploy to get the gangs to fight amongst themselves while the riots were designed to exacerbate the situation. When it looked hopeless, the Mushin Kai gangs moved in and quickly mopped things up. As a quid pro quo, he offered Shin Kai the consultancy gig. It was all just a scam to get the mayor into the governor's office. Of course, you were the X Factor. Guess what? The mayor wants to cut you a deal. A limo just arrived to pick you up. He's expecting you in his office. Hmm. 
So, you're the guy I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> I've actually called you here to, shall we say, recruit your services. You want me to replace your dogs? <laughs> Very perceptive. Brawn and brains. This should be right up your alley. Not interested. Aren't you worried that I might go public with our little secret? <laughs> Even if you did, it'd be your word against mine. I see. You're right. And this piece of paper with your signature on it? Probably won't prove anything. Maybe I can put it up for sale on the internet. You, you lousy piece of scum. I don't know where you got that from, but you're gonna hand that over now! Your reputation's well deserved. That's why I don't make any friends. Huh? But this is how I do my job. something weird in the air. The whole hood's buzzing. Yo, you think the war's starting again? Oh, man. It's over. 